Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Squeeze. Take 162. I think I put Wednesday wisdom. <laughs> I don't know. Um, my day's kind of gotten away from me already. It's really dark in here today. Apologies. Um, look at this little guy. All curled up. Hey, morph, morph. Oh, he's so cute. So stinking hot outside. It's not even funny anymore. I was just on the phone with my mom and I was just trying to explain like this past week has just kind of been a blah. I don't know. I started off the year so like hit the ground running that I think I've just kind of like whoop, had a little boop, a little droop, a little, I don't know what to call it. Um, Things are still going great. I have nothing to actually complain about or anything like that. It's just, I'm tired, I guess, <laughs> um, which is fine. Uh, today I wanted to come on and I got this interesting email. If you get my emails and stuff, obviously yesterday I sent out um, the daily squeeze about intentions as well as the blog post in an email. And I received back from someone, good morning, Alice. Uh, I received back from someone an email that says, load of shit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why did it strike a nerve? Oh, it's all self-belief, hey. Like, if you can read something like that and it doesn't align with you, that's fine. But if you speak out about it and you have nothing to back yourself except for saying something like load of shit. Um, like just unsubscribe if you don't like my stuff. That's fine. You don't have to, you know, watch me. Um, I'm not going to be for everyone. Everyone's not going to be for me. <laughs> uh, and that's totally cool. Uh, I do. I do think sometimes I do talk a little woo woo. Yesterday was a little bit of. Of woo I guess but I don't think I'm I'm definitely a spiritual person but I don't think I'm over the top or in your face about it but I do want to the way I approach talking about stuff like uh, manifesting and setting intentions and all the journaling stuff I do like it's for a reason and it's to help me reach you know I do it to help me clear my head reach my goals and really understand what it is I want to accomplish as well as who I am it's just like, I have my journal right here. I've been writing for a while this morning. And then yeah, right before I came on, I just saw that, that lovely email full of shit reply. And I just kind of looked at it and it's just like, well, I'd love to have a chat with her, you know, and, and ask her, what is it that's full of shit? Or what don't you believe? Or, you know, just figure out how I can maybe word something better. So she would be a bit more open to trying whatever it is she think is she thinks is not quite right um if you know me you know i'm all about trying things i'm all about being in that growth mindset being open to new possibilities and you know for a happier healthier lifestyle whatever it may be better sleep eating healthier moving more um all the self-care and the self-love that we should be doing for ourselves that you know we don't necessarily do all the time knowing our tells when we're slipping from what it is that we want to accomplish um, habits and routines you know all that stuff it all takes an open mindset a growth mindset and it really takes you to be be able to ask yourself well what is it about this i don't believe and what am i trying to trying to achieve should i be asking more questions like you know you could always the the response to the emails i'm so open to people responding and i love it um i still don't know if i'm going to be responding to hers because it's just it's pretty much quite closed off which is fine but it's also it's just that little bit of well what can i be saying different like what can I do to pass? Oh, growth mindset. Oh, <laughs> you know, but, but what is it about what I've said is, does it resonate with her? Like, could it? 
is that what she really needs because sometimes we really repel what it is um we want because we actually believe we're not good enough for it so it's all that it, it all comes back to self-belief and self-love and knowing that you're worthy and knowing that you're lovable and knowing that you know anything anyone has achieved on this planet you are more than capable of achieving as well it's how much energy you put into it it's how much you know you can picture yourself there it's your motivation it's your support it's what you do to get yourself there like you know nothing's gonna fall through the sky and land on your lap and oh it's a brilliant day and you have everything you want it doesn't like life doesn't work that way as we know or else we'd all have our ideal happier healthier lifestyles like it's something we work at all the time because it's the journey so I've just popped on to have a little chat about that and you know kind of put it out there for Wednesday because Wednesday as you know is also my self-care day so I'll be doing probably a face mask later I am heading to the shops to get myself just some some new scents and soaps for the shower I think something little like it doesn't have to be super big I think I said last week I wanted some new soaps, so this week I'm gonna go and yeah even if it's just the shop like the you know the grocery store or something however I'm gonna build it into my day I am going to do that I haven't done a scrub or anything yet today but I might but I guess something that we can do for self-care and something that I have been writing about um, is what are you kind of pushing pushing away from you what is it what is something that you don't believe you can achieve or something you don't believe you're worthy enough to achieve like is there something that's kind of holding you back from doing what it is you want to do please message me or email me <laughs> or comment below like if you do have a bit of an aha moment like I'd love to hear all the positive stuff as well as the not so nice stuff I guess um but I really don't think that the comments meant for me I think it's more on on her because that's just if you know me, that's my belief. Like people project thing that things that they don't understand when it's within them. So I really just want to get in her head and figure out what's going on and like turn the negative to a positive. But maybe she'll reach out. Maybe she won't. <laughs> maybe she's expecting an answer. But unfortunately, I'm really not. I'm not open to drama. <laughs> but I, I I just find it really. No, um, I'm not sure if I'm still there. I just had a message. But um, as I was saying, after the, that little email, after having a chat with my mom, I have been writing about, you know, what am I really letting in? What am I kind of pushing away from? What am I just in my daily life, you know? And it's really brought out some really interesting things for me. So I'm going to put it out there today for you for Self Care Wednesday is maybe do a little bit of doodling or writing or sit in a meditation for a little while and just ask yourself you know what is it that have you seen a little pattern of something that you've kind of been you kind of have a wall up on something or you're not letting something in or what's going on um spend a little time loving yourself today know that you're worthy you can you can accomplish whatever it is you want to accomplish no matter where you are in life Everyone starts journeys at different times and everyone is more than capable of having the happier, healthy lifestyle that they want. I really believe kindness is key within ourselves, towards others, motivating and supporting. So happy self-care Wednesday. I hope you have a great day and you give it a go. See what you're kind of resisting or holding back from or not letting in. Let me know. Have a great day and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.